All right, my friends, so part two of using Vanguard funds to generate guaranteed income. Now, again, we're going back to VASGX, the Vanguard Life Strategy Growth Fund. So if you haven't seen part one, how I'm setting this up, you really, really, really <clears throat> need to go back. And I'll put a link up there uh, for you to do that because this is part two, and this is where it starts getting fun. All right, so let me get my trusty PVC pipe, my pointer. So a lot going on this board. That's why I wanted to kind of narrow it down a little bit or back up a little bit so you can see what's happening here. So... The premise, we're taking $100,000 in Vanguard Life Strategy Growth Fund. At the end of the year, whenever it's above $100,000, we're taking that gain and we're going to annuitize it in a lifetime guaranteed income annuity, in a, a single premium income annuity, an immediate annuity, however you want to look at it. We're going to say the payout rate on that annuity is 5%, and we're going to use that throughout. We'll, we'll do some changes as we go forward on this out uh, of various scenarios, but... All right, so 1995, we had $100,000. The portfolio was up 29.24%, which means we had a gain of 29,240. Rocket science, huh? Uh, we took that 20, uh, 29,240 gain, and that means we left our portfolio with $100,000. When we take that 29,240, I'm gonna get my trusty calculator so you can I can prove to you where I'm where I'm going with this. 29,240 times by 0.05. That's 1462 an annual income. Divide that by 12, and we get 122. I'm, I am rounding up or rounding down, depending on the numbers, but we get 122 a month guaranteed. Now we're not adjusting that for inflation. That is fixed, all right? So if you're looking at inflation index annuities, that's not what we're talking about here today. We're just gonna say inflate, that's 122 a month right there, guaranteed for the rest of your life. All right, so we're going to add this to our cumulative monkey. Uh, monkey. <laughs> oh, monkeys. Did I ever tell you a story about being in Panama where monkeys poop on their hands and they shoot it, they, they throw it at you, and then they climb down from trees and try to steal your rifles while you're sleeping at night? Hey, I, th I think I did. But anyway, the cumulative monthly income. So we're taking this, and there's nothing before, so we got $122. All right, so that's the scenario. Got $29,000 gain. We're annuitizing it at a 5% payout rate, which pays us $122 month, guaranteed for the rest of our life. And we're adding it to whatever monthly income we had previous, which in this case is zero. The fault now we're back to $100,000 in our portfolio. That is up 15.41% or $15,410. The 5% payout rate gives us $64 a month. 64 plus the 122 is 186. And you can see where we're going. So at the end of 2000, end of 1999, we're guaranteed $440 a month in guaranteed income that we simply cannot outlive. And our portfolio is back to $100,000. And I will do a different scenario where we don't do any of this in terms of guaranteed income. We're gonna allow the markets to compound. So just don't hang in there. There's gonna be a bunch of different uh, episodes of this. So at the end of 1999, going to the new millennial, when we all thought we were gonna get bombed from Y2K, uh, and if you're too young to remember that, I'm telling you, people were real worried about that. And I was actually at Vanguard when that happened, so it was pretty interesting. We got $100,000, we have $440 a month, guaranteed monthly income. But, whoa, in 2000, uh, we're down 5.44%, uh, which means we only had 94,560. And the premise of this is that the minute it drops below our starting base, in this case, $100,000, we don't do anything, all right? So in this case, we still have $440,000 of income, or $440 a month of income, because we did not take anything off the table because we're only taking the gains. Only taking the gains the minute the portfolio gets $100,000. So now at the end of 2002, we're only down to 72,531. So we got zeros, zeros, and zeros in which to take those as income streams because we have no gains, all right? In 2003, the market was up 28.52, so there should be gains to take, right? Well, no, because even after that market gain, we're only at 93,217. So again, there's four years of no income, even though we only have three down years because we're still below the 100,000 threshold. So we're still at 440. We fast forward till the end of 2004. Well, the mark was up 12.58 in 2004, 12.58 above the 93,217, meant we had $4,943 of, of uh, gains we had. We annuitized that, that's another $21. So by, uh, by the end of 2004, we have $461 a, a month of guaranteed income. Let's uh, 
you know, about, what is that, five and a half bucks, 5,500 a year of guaranteed, and we have 100,000 bucks in our portfolio. So at the end of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years, there you go, perfect, 10 years. We're back to $100,000 and we have uh, $461 a month of guaranteed income. Let me take my trusty calculator and that is $5,532 a month. All right, so stay tuned to part two of this. We'll finish this one up for this scenario, then we'll start doing other scenarios as well. So don't forget to subscribe down below. All right, thanks my friends.